Hello viewers, uh, don't, don't like to start the videos usually as editor Ben, it's not really my role, I'm not a presenter, I'm a performer. Um, that doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, I was I just gone to edit the uh, the Italian Cup final, which we know is coming up today, and um, well, he's he's corrupted his, his footage of his face, so there's no face today, which some of you will think is a good thing, so um, don't worry about it. Um, I, I send my apologies, but I know deep down you're grateful. Um, I will still run the intro. I will do it today. It's always, it's always me. He always says it like, oh, it's him, but he's always interrupting me. So uh, we'll, we'll have the intro. There'll be a video today of the Italian Cup final. His face isn't in it. Might make it better. You'll still be able to hear him, though. Um, so be warned. viewers how are we doing i'm very well as the champion of Serie A. that's right that's been done that's been ticked off and uh, unbelievably we did it at a time that i was not expecting and now today a chance at a cup final in today's double upload day bum 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 i felt like that was appropriate it doesn't now i'm not sure now some of you have already looked at the debt now there's 50 million pounds worth of debt going on at inter not an issue for me, because one i won't be here next season two i won't be here next season so don't worry about it don't worry about it, it's fine. It's not It's not a problem. It's not a problem for me. Or your you, really. Hopefully Inter have to sell players in a time of desperate need. That'd be sad, wouldn't it? And coming up then, the game against Napoli, I say, in the Italian Cup final. Our route to the final, we've not really talked about it too much, so I thought we'd focus upon it very, very briefly. Uh, it's been interesting due to the fact that we've, we've had a very successful win, a tough win against Zebra, an interesting couple of ties against Milan, and you've seen none of them? But the Cup final, of course, we've won this before, so the pressure is not really on this game. But Napoli uh, have had a, a not a particularly good season. Seventh position for them, Udinese and Torino. Of course, uh, later on in, in the episode to come, uh, we will talk about what the future lies like for Inter Milan and well not really for Inter Milan for me what, what I'm going to do uh, in the future I've been reading all your comments on yesterday's video lots of interesting thoughts the PSG conundrum is something that is bothering you as much as it's bothering me I think it's, it's, it's fascinating um it was nice not to bottle something yesterday, so let's see if we can continue that today with uh, with a game, as I say, against uh, Napoli. Here we go then, uh, team-wise, let's have a look. Now, a few little issues here and there, if I bring you down to the bottom of the screen, hopefully, I think you can just see down there. Uh, Kick Wolf still injured, of course, we've got Gigliotti out suspended, as well as Nzaghi, and Cristiano won't feature either, he'll be out for a couple of days. We'll be back for the final game of the season, hopefully, but uh, yeah, we'll miss the next couple. Uh, so Salcedo comes in on that right-hand side, we've got Anderson and Spilling to, uh, to replace at the back as well, and Diego, of course, behind Aragon. We need to try and get Diego some more goals. The fact that Ansu Fati is, is doing better than him is surprising. I say better than him. Like, Ansu Fati's having an incredible season, whereas Diego's having an alright season. If we're strictly talking about goals, scored of course. Uh, let's take a look at the Napoli team then. Because I am curious. I always like to see uh, how other sides are building themselves all this time into the future of course. We're very nearly at the halfway point. So that's quite exciting. And of course, the Euros to come in the summer. So while I'm going to be looking for a new job, the European Championships with Italy should be quite good fun. And of course, quite a few of my Inter boys will be in that squad. Don't don't worry about it. Christian Eriksen then not starting at right midfield today. Uh, Upa, uh, Upa <laughs> Christian Eriksen isn't starting. Uh, Alex Merritt will be in goal. He's one of the, the better keepers I've got for the Italy team. Uh, Leroy Sané on the left-hand side. Martial and uh, Boutink will be decent too. I think we've got enough, but whether we can actually prove it, that's what we have to find out. And also, I've not had a haircut. I've just had a shower. So I know you're thinking, God, he looks good today. No, it's not. It's, I've just combed it a lot. If you want any tips on uh, styling hair, I'm not the person to ask. Not even remotely close. All right, then. Here we are, then. Inter versus Napoli. An Italian cup final. A chance to, to win something. Again, another trophy. The first time we can double up as well, which would be quite nice for us as well. Uh, let's go to the match stats so we can see what's going on. The first 15 minutes, viewers... Pretty quiet. This would be nice, though. I don't know how I'm going to make this look on the on the tape on the graph thing I've got. The graph, the uh, the graphic I've got to sh to show my progress in Glory Hunter. Do I just add a second trophy there with a different date on it? Maybe I do. I think that. Well, I'll have to figure something out, viewers. As uh, Diego's headed down, goes straight to Napoli. I don't like the conflicting blues here. I know we're wearing black and blue, but they've got a lighter blue, which ordinarily would be fine. But if 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 one team's wearing blue, the other should be wearing a white or a red or a black combination. Not with blue, obviously as we're racing forward here. Ball drilled across and uh, it, knew, it knew it went out for a throw-in, which isn't obviously great. I'm curious though, I just think I don't know what's going to happen this summer. There's so much going on in terms of the fact I've got an international competition, in terms of the fact I've got to go to either Germany, Spain or France, and it all really depends on if there's a managerial shuffle, which often relies on the Premier League. Uh, I'm gonna have a, I'll probably have a little cheeky look at that at the end of this video, just so we can sort of get an idea of what's going on elsewhere. But 
Man, it's tricky because PSG, the job at PSG is pretty safe because unless you lose everything, you'll be in that job for a while as Diego has been played through. Oh, he's gone forward. Oh, it should have been a goal. We should be 1-0 up, Diego. It's fine. I mean, it's tough. football's hard, so I can understand that we're not, but it's just frustrating. And it's a nice time during a cup final, which is, you know, a, a bit of an extra video, if anything, today. Um, just thank you so much for the support of the series. Every episode has been really well received and it's really nice to see, like doing a series which has got over 100 episodes. You're still with me. You're still watching. And of course, in the current class, uh, it's lovely to see so many people choose to watch my content so I appreciate it a lot and uh, yeah hopefully you continue to do so and I will continue to make stuff and I know I talk about it all the time but as this game has been pretty highlighted I'm going to talk about it now um, I stream on Twitch pretty regularly so if you're looking for more content or you're looking for VODs to watch or just uh, just more Football Manager stuff um, yeah twitch.tv we get it Twitch, you stream alright we get that you stream on twitch.tv slash dot What's going on about it? The description there always is. Um, you can come over. Uh, I'm live pretty much, well, I say pretty much every single day. Uh, I am live at the moment. So at some point during the day, you will find me. If you follow everyone to it, you'll be notified or just follow me on Twitter and you'll be told. All right, Salcedo's got it on the on the far right side. Can we have just a, just a chance, just a moment? We're on balance. We'll go more positive because we're going to try and force this a bit. Salcedo beats his man defensively, though. <sighs> they did pretty well. As uh, Getson Fernandez back to SMS. Barella now. And uh, again, looking at some of these players, of course, our affection for them is now three years deep for some of them. But of course, there's a few here that we brought in at the start of the season, like the, the, the likes of Aragon as SMS when he's drilled it there. It should have been a goal. SMS, he's getting a bit older now. Is he someone that we take with us elsewhere? I'm not too sure. Aragon, of course, a younger player that has still got lots of time left. Will he want to stay at Inter? Will he be looking for a big move? Of course, we took him um, from a side that weren't that competitive. Same with someone like Cristiano that we took from Valencia, of course. Like, will he, will he want to go back to Spain? Because I'm going there and I'd... I'd like it. Would he like it? There's 15 minutes left to go in this cup final, viewers. And well, we're not really... The highlights have been few and far between as Napoli this time are forward. Spirin's gone to challenge in this cup final as Martial scores. I mean, I'm not happy. 15 minutes to go. I just don't... I just don't like... Eddie Salcedo. I've said it, viewers. Alvarez is coming on in that position. I prefer him there, even though it says he's not natural there. It's a fact, viewers. We're going for something else. We're not going to try and play through the middle quite so much from now, and uh, we'll just see if anything happens. I mean, there's a highlight straight after their goal. It'd be a good time to score already if you want to try and find the minute. Oh, never mind. Diego was waiting. Gibson Fernandez flicks one forward. There's Alvarez. He's just come on, remember? Back to SMS. We've got to try and find a goal from somewhere. 12. Oh, no, I thought it was in, but it went over. I feel I've been conned by my eyes, viewers. A corner kick, 12 minutes to go. We, we certainly have to try do something more here. Do you know what? I've tried him. I've tried him. I've tried him. At, goalkeeper let's get him back up front again i'm going to take barella off i'm going to keep the creativity of aragon in the center and marco carroll's going to come on as an advanced forward attack much like diego as alvarez i'm going to switch up to a winger on attack we, we need to try something a little different here the passing ability of alvarez is why i favor him over the likes of van hagen who i think is very good but not the one for me there's no time left i really want to win the fa the fa, the FA cup the italian cup I really want to win it because I don't even know the name of it. So, disgraceful behaviour. What what do I change now? Ansi Fati. Terrible game from uh, Ansi Fati and Diego, to be honest. Both of them have done next to nothing. De Pinto is coming on. You've, you've never seen him play for me. This is his big moment. I don't know what I'm expecting, if I'm honest. Four minutes and it's not looking very good, viewers. Time is pretty... Time's gone. I've lost the. I've lost it. Napoli win the Italian Cup. That's really soured. What was a beautiful moment yesterday. So despite the fact you've lost, you've still made us do all the. You've still made us do all this. All the bells and whistles. Unbelievable. I mean, I'm going to get angry. Um, not good enough tonight. So you know, viewers, just when you thought you know the bottling was over, he's, he's coming in. So he's won the year, the league, one year in. He's done that. He's completed his mission. Well, I've lost another final. Napoli lift it. We get some money for it. Much needed money. I mean, that's the dent that's put in. Oh, look at that. I actually, I actually was given the transfer budget because we'd already won the league. Of course, it was sixty million. Good luck to whoever comes in with that. All right, I mentioned it earlier on. Let's take a look at what's going on elsewhere very briefly. Let's just see the lay of the land. Of course, not all league uh, for seasons so far have finished. And there's a few standing out to me straight away. Barcelona are going to be points points off of, uh, of Real Madrid. You've got Dortmund, who are in a very similar situation with uh, with Bayern Munich. Uh, over in France, you've got Paris Saint-Germain crushing it at the moment. Absolutely crushing it. I mean, I mentioned going to a, like a Ligue 1 team and then maybe building our way up 
But how are we ever going to do that? That's just like, they're so far off PSG, who's manager at the moment, Stefan Borgant. Um, I don't think he's going to be leaving anytime soon. Again, we need some sort of managerial shuffle. And will that come from the Premier League? Uh, Liverpool and Chelsea, they look like they're going to finish outside of the spaces. I mean, Chelsea and Tottenham still fighting for it, but we need something to happen over there. And will Atletico Madrid, will Barcelona make changes after not being as competitive for the league season? And of course, maybe we'll see something similar in Italy as well. Zebra again, have them on the title. Neither of Milan, neither of Lazio, who this year actually have had their worst year for a while. You'd think Simeone, not Simeone, sorry, Inzaghi will get a little bit more time. Simeone Inzaghi, that's why I got confused with us. And um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Schalke, I know, are a decent team, but is it a risk worth taking? I feel like there's four teams there that are worth moving to, but this summer now we're getting a little bit locked in it's getting exciting it's getting interesting we'll talk more about this uh, in the upcoming episodes later on today as we sort of review the season and take stock of what we've got and who maybe will carry forward uh, with us to other teams but that's going to conclude today's little sort of uh, it's a bit of a mini episode with a, with an Italian Cup final but hopefully you've enjoyed it I've enjoyed listening uh, to my own voice for a little bit I mean as much as you can do well, you know, as much as you can do I get questions a lot what do you hear in the headphones I just hear my own voice through the yeah it's not it's not as exciting as you'd want it to be sometimes I talk Talk in the mornings and just wonder if it'll be a different sounding voice but no it's always the same always the same but again if you enjoyed this do drop a like on it want to see some more make sure you subscribe i'll be back later on today with the conclusion of the league campaign uh, as we discuss further in more detail what we do next before of course the european championships with italy we're just getting started this season viewers although it is technically sort of over